Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do this really, 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 really easy, like summer inspired, oceany inspired, glitter, ombre, nail tutorial thing. It's really, really simple and it only takes two nail polishes, not including base or top coat, and it's okay if you're a little bit messy with it. Actually, the messier it is, the better it looks. And it's really easy, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to use is base coat. My favorite one is this one from OPI. It's the natural nail base coat. Then I'm going to take this color from OPI again. It's called Mermaid's Tears and it's this gorgeous like sea green color. And I'm just going to do one opaque coat on every single nail. You only need one because only a quarter of your nail is going to be showing anyway. The rest of it's all going to be glitter. Now I'm going to take this really, really pretty glitter color from Sinful Colors called Hottie. It has a blue base and micro holographic glitter, and it's perfect for the ocean inspired look. So the first thing you want to do, where I'm drawing that line right about there, is where you want to start putting the nail polish. Only about three quarters of the way into your nail towards the cuticle. The rest of it is just going to be painted towards the tip. All you want to do is just do one very, very, very thin coat all the way down. You kind of just want to blur the line between the glitter and where the green start. So very, very thin coat. It's okay if the tip of your nail doesn't get covered that well. So don't worry about that. And this is what your nails will look like after that. Now you just want to do the same thing you did before except with a normal amount of nail polish and start halfway down the nail. Finally, you want to do that step one more time except just on the very tip of the nail and this time use a very opaque amount of polish. This you want to be the darkest. And now here's what your nails look like after that. So you can kind of get the glitter ombre effect. Now all you need to do is finish off the top coat. My favorite one is the OPI top coat. And after you clean up around your nail with some acetone or nail polish remover and anything you like to use, I prefer to use an old makeup brush. You can use a Q-tip, cotton ball, anything you want. This is what your nails are going to look like. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm just going to continue to show you my nails so that you can see how the glitter looks in the light and you can really get the whole ombre effect kind of embedded into your brain. I told you guys it was really, really easy. Again, hope you enjoyed it. I'll put photos in my blog and link that below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.